when we last left you just moments ago, um, you had received visions after the after f- getting into the final room of your trials in the floating kingdom of Zelestin. You saw different visions of different areas you've never been to, maybe even the surface world. And as you guys all stood and tried to figure out exactly what this meant, the sovereign Alina came in and explained to you all that these were possibilities of futures that could come along. Maybe you're part of it, maybe you're not. There's no telling exactly what will happen if you're not there or what will happen if you are there. You guys all rightfully were confused about what does that have to do with surface world and with a gesture, she beckoned you all to follow her. Now, we find you all walking down um, across the bridge back into the forest area where Karyad and Fenlo raced to this morning. Had a race, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you guys are kind of sitting in abject silence unless you guys start to talk to, but the 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 rest of the council is not here. It's just the sovereign. And she kind of just walks over the bridge, smiles, waves at all the people that are looking. Everyone is looking at you guys with um, excitement as you guys all pass. It's the first time in hundreds of years that anybody has seen trials go underway for a new council. So they're all eager to find out what that might entail. Um, You know, many people, maybe the only people that could really remember are going to be like dwarves and elves that live here. Um, But even then, it's a little hazy for some of them. Um, And you guys find yourself in the forest. You guys go on a brief hike. Different chipmunks, raccoons, a couple deer pass you all. (laughs) Seemingly comfortable enough with your presence to let you guys come through. They all regard you with animal-like eyes. Eventually you come to a clearing where a small river flows through. And uh, she stops. She goes, Now, you are not done your trials yet. One of the main tenets, I'll say, of being a part of the council is knowing what is best for your people. Many of you have come from various different backgrounds, some higher status. Uh, she points over to Karyad and um, Ramses and uh, Tekton and maybe some not so, maybe humble beginning as in points to Fenlo and uh, to Freya. Um, But either way, you all have different experiences that leads you to this point. Now, we have to strip you bare, if you will. And you have to discover what it means to start with vaguely nothing and to learn about the people that you will have to lead. You will have to be one of them before you can serve them. And she gestures for you guys to all continue. You guys travel down the stream and eventually come to a clearing where the sky is bright and blue. The sun is poking out from some clouds. And you guys come over to the edge of this island. And she steps to the side. The other council members are standing here. Bygull, Wenfer the halfling, Ludumker the emo edgy human male, Tornir the wizard uh, dwarf. They all kind of stand here with smug expressions or boredom or this kind of um, anticipation that comes over a lot of them. And You're joking. Oh, I'm not joking. Wait, Everyone line up on the edge. Wait, 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 wait. Karyad will step up ex- excitedly. Excellent. Ramsey follows. I'm still kind of confused. Uh. <sighs> Why are we on the edge? Are we just taking a better look? And uh, Ramsey kind of like peers his head like Yes, down exactly. Like, Frey's, look Frey's over the edge. Kind of like walk up and like grab onto Ramsey's like. I guess by your size should be at like your waist, so like the folds of like your tunic. And just, don't lean over! Don't lean over! <laughs> what are you doing? I appreciate that concern, but I promise no, I'm very scared. No, you can't scary. be serious. Listen, I'm a little afraid of heights. Let's hear it. Like That's a dark right. chuckle from Torn. you just. <laughs> I'm all for. Oh my <laughs> I am god! I'm very scared. 
please, uh, please do step up to the edge. And he looks at uh, those who have not yet. I guess I'm already there Ramsey. since I'm with Ramsey. Mm-hmm. Ramsey sprawls out his hands. He's like, it is beautiful. It is quite beautiful. You see all the little land masses, <laughs> like the, the just green and white and kind of ready orange off in the distance and a large land mass in like tri corners. Uh, he like puts his hands on his hips and he turns to Fenlo and he's like, Fenlo, <laughs> is this not gorgeous? Is this not the excitement you woke up to see? Uh, yeah, um, th- this don't require wings of any kind yet, does no, it? No, not at all. I, I, Please do step right. up to the edge. No, all right, no, yeah. I don't know. I don't know about the rest of these people, but I have not committed any crimes, and if this is how you get rid of criminals, this has been all been a ruse. <laughs> I could just <laughs> swarm this all together so you could get rid of us. Freya, Why would we Freya, be calm down. Nobody has committed a crime here. I heard that rumor. I heard that rumor about Jimmy and how he went missing in the woods and he never showed back up again. Jimmy got drunk Jimmy, and we found you, you him see, a day you later. You see Ludum Kerr, the human, goes up and goes, yeah, Fenlo's right. We found him a day later. He made a lean-to. <laughs> and he stayed out he, in the night. He just... He just he just want to go camping. I didn't hear that part. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. There was a search party and everything, but like, no, I think she's got a point here. Is this your sick, sick idea of a joke? Just getting us all to be the council and then not to trying taking to us kill us you, Ramses. <laughs> Tacton, you sa- you you follow the all hammer. Please have some faith. Uh. I uh, give a weak smile, and then I step up to the edge cautiously, and then I mold earth so that my feet are implanted in case I step You, <laughs> You go and start to cast the spell, and the rock starts to feed up into your feet, and then it just crumbles away by a dark bean of energy. <laughs> and uh, uh, the sovereign clasps hands with all of the council members, and says, That wasn't even necessary. <laughs> that was just me. And <laughs> looks at you all and says, You are all the new council members. When you are back arrive, it'll be your turn to take over. But until then, learn some lessons, save the world, most importantly, make some friends. And then she unclasps her hand, there's a shockwave, and you guys are pushed off the cliff. Immediately, you <laughs> and you guys are falling, skydiving, thousands, hundreds of thousands of feet down through the air. Clouds whip past. You guys are in the air. You're gonna be up here for a while. <laughs> Everybody grab hands, and I'm gonna reach my hands out. Canadian screaming. Freya, Freya you're just like... you are right. I do not understand why, but they are trying to kill us. <laughs> Freya's, Freya's just spinning. Like, ah! I'm just cannonballing. Can I, can I, like, oh, wait. Try Hold and up. make my way to Freya. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Coast over to Freya. I'm gonna, just... I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna hold your hands, and we're gonna sprawl out to stop the spin. <laughs> All of you fall in different descents now. Uh, Ramsey's um, like flying squirrel. Flying squirrel. <laughs> you begin to like woo, uh, like the the air drags back, kind of keeping you guys up, kind of keeping you all together a little bit. You guys begin to see the green. The white, the the orangey red, and then that like big landmass, the big land land try like cornered landmass, falls falls away from your vision very quickly. Um, but the ones that you see the like the most color on the red, the ready the ready color, the white and the green become get closer to you rapidly. You guys are falling very quickly, but it's still going to be a while before land is Can, even an uh... issue for you. I am can... so glad we have time to process this, or else I would be very scared. <laughs> can 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 Fenlo try to can Fenlo try to summon his wings? There's nothing. <laughs> Everybody try to get together, and then Fenlo. Now is not the time to use the bathroom. I you. <laughs> Quit it's having a ASM... shit. It's an ASMR thing. All right, just I'm trying not to panic here. On the one hand, this is 
like instinctively where I feel like I should be. On the other hand, I am falling to my death. So sorry if I'm like acted a little weird. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He was still falling. <laughs> oh, oh man! Freya's gonna reach out her free hand to whoever's closest to her. Is this, is this gonna be like Spy Kids too, where we're still we're we're at the ground? Literally, yes. Falling? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Air, air, like indoor skydiving. Yeah. I want to thank the bus you know, driver. we have lots of time to talk. What would you guys uh, want to do before you die, if you have the chance? If you had the chance to change your fate, would you? <laughs> would you? <laughs> if you had the chance because to change your fate, I'd rather not be fucking fallen! <laughs> I would probably wish for the chance not to die! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd wish not to be die. You know, I, I, I don't want to question them, but like none of their possible future outcomes had us on the ground as pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> so... I feel like there might be something else going on here. I don't know. You're very like, calm for I'm gonna falling. Fly back <laughs> yeah, you guys all can gather together if you want. Uh, the ground is becoming viewable. You see trees and forests blink into view. You guys see small civilizations. You see one kind of directly below you as you guys are... Wind is whipping past you. The ground is... You're probably a thousand feet up at this point. From the ground. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, Freya's gonna wait till they're about 500 ish feet up. Do it now. And she's gonna be like, oh god, oh god. Please, please, please. Do it. It's and coming she's fast. Gonna, the, she's, the, gonna, <laughs> she's gonna let go of, Freya, one, of one of their hands. She's gonna pull out her baton and she's gonna like make a big circle and she's gonna cast Featherfall on herself, Cadiad, Fenlo. Ramses and Pectin. At a hundred feet. You guys see from where you guys are, you see a town like probably like a couple miles in the distance now, but you guys are running in you guys as you and begin to slowly fall. You guys are landing in a bunch of trees. Not soft trees. These <laughs> trees have large spiny talons sticking out. And as you guys slowly land into it, ow, 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 as you guys slowly brush through whatever kind of forest this is, you guys are gonna take some damage. Oh my god. We haven't Five. from the battle. Fuck, no. fuck. 5,000 yeah. points of damage, and you're all very dead. <laughs> you guys all take eight points of damage. Oh my god. Eight. Eight. All right. As you ow, 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 and then eventually your feet touch the ground. You guys look around, and you guys, all these different trees and bushes stick out in large, jagged, spiny needles that now stick out of your skin, and you pluck them out, and you're like, ow, ow. The grass beneath you is soft, um, a little mushy from possibly rain that just the sun hasn't touched. Even and when you're standing in this forest, you cannot see the sun. It is very dark in here. Um, a lot of your dark visions kick in at this point, and you're like, oh, God. You guys see a gentle stream kind of rush out, down. You guys hear birds chirping in the distance. As Can... soon as Freya lands, she doesn't land on her feet. She, like, immediately, like, onto her <laughs> knees and, like... Like her knees go like sideways, and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh my god, this is so fucked." What Hair the... is like it just everywhere. What? I oh my god, I am gonna have some strongly worded letters to send when we <laughs> get back there. You know, the last seven hundred feet or so, once you see the ground, it made it a lot more comforting for me. It is just kind of you know, you could see where you were going now. It wasn't so. Sorry. I'm very glad that you were comforted, but I, that was fine. I'm like, I have like a, I think my arm is mangled here. I, I, I can, you like, yeah, I can, like I can, some... yeah, we, we can, we can heal y'all if y'all are. Can we, can we can take, we take a, an hour? Take a, you, take a bit of a second. You guys each have two uh, hit dice of your various uh, classes and abilities. 
You guys can take a short rest. I would like to. Like. <laughs> I would like to take a short rest and an arcade <laughs> recovery because that was my last spell slot. <laughs> Wizards. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's heal seven hit points. Yeah. Uh, plus two, so nine. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh shit. Uh, okay, okay, I'm a little, a little bit better. <laughs> I only healed for four. <laughs> oh, no, my D. Did you roll, like, what, two ones? No, I roll a D10, and I get a plus two, and I rolled a two. You can roll another <laughs> you one You get two like. D10s. Yeah, but I d didn't, just in case. I don't, it's still, like, early morning, right? Um, Not early morning, it's probably but it's, like, it's before it's midday. It's probably about like one o'clock. Just in after. the morning? Yeah. Oh, in the afternoon. Uh, I guess I'll take I need. It. I need to take it. I need to take it. I am not. I guess I'll take like, the second. You're a wizard, yeah. Harry. <laughs> yeah, and then I got a, and then I rolled a tw uh, rolled a, a ten, ten, so I got twelve. 12. Nice. Yeah. You, nice. You said it was. Um. You said it was one, but is it in the morning or is it night? One in the afternoon. Or I mean, afternoon. One in the afternoon. In the afternoon. All right. Yeah. DM, would we know? Would we uh, know potentially where this is geographically? Is this the Bramble Woods or something? No. <laughs> well, actually, you. Can I? Might. Um, roll me. Can I? Roll something? me a history check. Um, that's a thirteen. Yeah, you have no clue. Um, okay. you know of a grassland down below. Um, but the the reading you have done whatever you may have heard isn't like specific in that it just says a land full of grass and tree um you know common threats live around here kind of thing but you don't remember reading anything about the bramble wood specifically okay okay so folks so folks uh bad news is i don't know where uh where in the hell they placed us um but uh, I do know that there's some grasslands over there. Maybe it's a bit more safe than these uh, eerie horror story looking trees around us. And I like well, I, touch one of the spikes. I, I mean, I, I, I don't want to. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to. There's no one question. else freaking out that we're actually on the ground. No, not really. Well, you know, the only it's one just another. freaking out that we're actually on the ground. Yeah, it's just another floating island if you think about it. Processing it. But, like, panic is the Ooh. way that you... <laughs> As you guys kind of all, like, take stock of your situation, um, you guys I'm all... I'm gonna run through the forest. You wanna run through the forest? I wanna run. Okay. Don't. <gasps> I'm gonna... uh, uh, wait! Circle. There's times where you have to, like, fully stop because there's just multiple spikes pointing back at your face, and you're like, no. And then you turn back around, and you dart off into a different direction, and then another group, and you're like, no. And you turn back around, and there's, like, eight more, and you're like, god damn it. And you just, like, keep running in different directions until you make oh, your like way back. All, like, over overturned trees and shit. Yeah. Oh, no. Can I... way back. Yeah, you eventually, Can... you are behind everyone. I look at everyone's backs, and I just go, oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> that, that was a very dumb mistake. You literally just ran off as soon as we got here. That, well, that's that a bad again. idea. That's and I'm going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to follow does. them. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to split a different direction. Okay. I'm going to follow them this time because, like, I'm following. that's a really bad idea. <laughs> I've got very, Dive over. I've got very short legs. <laughs> Freya begins yeah. to run. Ramsey, do you? Uh, yeah, okay. Ramsey goes too. So everyone follows Kariad as they all duck over. You dodge <laughs> over a tree. You see a spike, so you have to turn right. And then you see another one, so you turn left. You guys all like, oh shit! And then you, you guys are also now realizing how many things are pointy and sticking out at you. You guys all come over. Kariad, you eventually find like a nice clearing. You know, very little bramble. You actually see what? a hole in the tree line where um, a bunch of light comes down. And a little squirrel, it comes off of a tree and it looks at you and kind of comes down, comes into the light, and then and something big with big jaws clams over the squirrel. The tail sticks out and flicks around in panic and then just goes limp as you hear a and then No, it was bloody cute! And I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out my uh, I'm gonna pull out my longbow and I'm gonna ready it on the jaws. You see two eyes plink hook up and a giant like reptile creature it is like 
<laughs> it is like um, a building tall. <laughs> Trees. <laughs> I would like to grab Carrion and uh, run away. <laughs> no, no need. I'm gonna put my <laughs> arrow away. I'm gonna put my longbow back, and I'm getting the fuck Everyone out. Everyone, make me athletic checks for me, just to see if you can override. God just... damn it, the giant creature! That's not oh, my fault. Athletics. You can't blame me for that one. This is. Uh, you you get a race. This is a this is a group check, I... so don't worry about single rules. So, uh, Carrion, athletics. Rolled an 18. Okay, uh, Fenlo Weddle. Unnatural 20. Alrighty. Uh, Freya. Eight. Okay. Uh, Ramses. 14. Okay. Uh, Tecton. Five. Can I help pick <laughs> Freya up? Uh, you... That, that's how you get away, honestly, is... Uh, with a very... You guys are running. You guys watch as Freya and Tecton and kind of all slowly come behind and this big creature just like... <laughs> Open its mouth, unhinged, like Scooby Doo eating a sandwich. Jaw comes over. You see, it has little like, T Rex arms, but then the rest of its body is just like a slithering serpent. Just like. And it. And then opens its mouth, its jaw unhinges, and goes to swipe down. And Kariad, you duck behind, grab, grab Freya and Tekton, pull them out of the way as it. And pulls back, spits out dirt, and you dart off into a different direction. Uh, everyone, make me another round of athletics checks. This is what happens when you run into the into the marsh in Final Fantasy VII. You fight the Midgar Zolum. <laughs> okay, okay. And I, I should, I should specify. This Lovely. is like Fallout, like three skulls level, like of bad guy. Can I can you wander into a higher difficulty level? <laughs> Karyan, what'd you get? Can can I? Oh, Fenlo, what? Can can I slap down some Eldritch Blasts to push him back? You can certainly try. Roll me an attack. Alright. That is a <laughs> seven. I just love the, uh, the visual. <laughs> Doesn't affect it. Oh, no, that ain't good. Alright, oh, yeah, no, let's go. Okay, so, Kariad, your athletic strength, please. I rolled a 17. Okay. Fenlo Weddle, can you do it with disadvantage? Because you turned back. Disadvantage, you say? Uh, that is a uh, that's a three. Three, okay. That's a three. Uh, Freya, natural twenty. Mm, okay. Ramses, seventeen. Okay, and Tecton, also a seventeen. Alrighty. Okay. Triplets. As yeah, we're seventeen, seventeen. As uh, as you see, Fenlo turn back and just shoot out this blast. It pink doesn't seem to affect it as it and just slithers forward and was like um ha ah, and then another like a tackled throw from Ramses you pull him out of the way you guys duck down behind another set of bramble um everyone just quickly make me stealth checks to avoid being seen it's out of its line of sight and it it coils around a tree and it starts to like look around and Kariad I rolled a 20. A natural 20? No, 19 plus Okay. One. Fenlo. I got a 12. Okay. Uh, Freya. I also got a 12. Okay. Ramses. I roll with disadvantage, and I also got a 12. <laughs> Tec I can show Tec that on my screen. No, no, it's I no, swear. no, no. Tec -ten. That's so weird. Nine. Nine. Okay. Triplet! Dab -da. You guys all duck behind <laughs> underneath a little alcove where roots have been dug up from something. And you hear <laughs> You feel a breath. <sighs> just like blow over you all. Tectin, whatever just blew into your nose, you feel a sneeze and you <gasps> and everyone just <gasps> and like clams over your face really quickly. And then it <sighs> And you hear it slither off into the forest. So, so let, 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 let's get to that town, maybe. Ramses, like, puts his <sighs> hand on Fenlo's shoulder and says, I appreciate your tenacity to fire at it. It was very brave of you. No, it wasn't. I was trying to push it away to keep it away. That ain't brave. That's panic. Call it what you will. 
I will call it panic. Hey, uh, Carrie Ed, we actually have to talk about this, though. That Stop you can't running away. That. Yeah. That was right stupid it was. <laughs> okay. We're, we're council members, we're not adventurers or something like that, you know. Uh, no, there's no opportunity for making silly mistakes uh, that could Mr. threaten our lives. not my bloody fault. Mi We've never run into anything like that on Zelestin. Mr. Tecton, I, I don't, I don't, I don't mean to correct y'all or none, but um, I, I think, I think that is what we are now. What, what are you saying there? W well, um, the High Sovereign did say, you know, uh, save the world. Go out and adventure, make some friends. Um, and all that sounds like the job description of an adventurer, you know? So, um. I have never met an adventurer a day in my life, and now today I meet four at once. Go figure. <laughs> yeah. Freya's um, gonna, like, throw her, like, bag in front of her, and she's gonna start, like, digging through it. I can't believe you did something so foolish. She's going to look for it and make sure that her music box didn't get damaged. Uh, you eventually find it's it in your bag. Gonna... It's it's actually got cushioned nicely by some clothing. <sighs> She's going to, like, open it and just give it, like, one, like, small turn okay. and just listen. Cling, 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 cling. She's going to close it and put it back in and... Ramsey watches Freya's like very meticulous checking of the music box, but he doesn't say anything. He just he just doesn't hide the fact that he's watching as she does it. Alright. So uh out of here. We need to be safe and we need to be quiet. Um we don't happen to know our barons in relation to that their little town that was close by, did we? Sorry? Is that it? Say that again? Um can can I try to get my barons to know what direction that town is from here? Make a survival check. Survival check. I ain't good at those, but I have a 17 plus zero, so 17. You have no clue. Oh, no. There is no... <laughs> oh, no. There is no indicator. There is no <laughs> landmark. You guys fell into a forest. You kind of had a vague idea of the direction, but that was between uh, Kariad running and then a giant lizard thing attacking you and then mm -hmm. yeah now you're all kind of mixed about I don't oh know. all right could i pull out the um the stone t sundial and see like mm. the, I, don't I don't know something it's smart uh, i don't i don't it's, know what i'd really tell from that other than uh like... you tell that it's 1 30 <laughs> great <laughs> all right everyone now... be on lookout i'm going to okay. climb a tree well, actually, that's good info, because we'll know how long it is before nightfall, and I don't want to be out here alone in the wilderness. Uh, I have a question. Sure. As uh, part of my teachings, uh, I can conjure uh, an inanimate object for an hour. Could I conjure a compass? Absolutely. Or is it just you can conjure it, or does it have rules like you have to have the material? You can use your action to conjure up an inanimate object no longer than three feet on one side and no more than ten pounds uh, in your hand or in an unoccupied space you can see within ten feet of you. The object disappears after one hour uh, when you use this feature again or it takes any damage. If it takes or deals any damage. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah. So, you know, if I throw a compass, <laughs> you throw a compass damage, yeah. <laughs> Perfect murder. <laughs> I make a knife. Oh. Where'd it go? <laughs> Um, yeah, definitely. You can you can take a moment. You kind of feel the energy kind of wash through your hands, and then your hands expand for a minute, and a compass sits in the middle of your hands. Which way is north? Could, is there a way we... Well, I guess we couldn't really tell which direction was which when we were falling, but is there a way to see which way is north? Uh, yeah, you can find north on the compass and go to and find that direction, yes. Oh, all right, so... We now know if we travel in a straight direction, we'll at least some at some point make our way out of the the forest. If Cariad can find where the village is, we can travel in that direction now. All right, you said and you I'll start. wanted to climb a tree. Yes. Okay. Uh, make me an athletics or acrobatics check of your choice. Uh, athletics. Okay. 
I don't know why, but I just thought of like make an athletics or a performance check. Your choice. Like yatta da 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 yatta da da, and it gets you up the tree. <laughs> like, a can can up the tree. Yeah. <laughs> you see many I'm, things. I'm, I'm here for. It. I'm here. Start for doing stand up comedy. And just <laughs> you so you you sure. roll a natural one on that climbing performance check, and you accidentally do a box square and step off the tree. I'm like ah. <laughs> All right, what was your athletics? So, yeah, I only rolled an eight, so I'm just going to go ahead and try again right away. Oh, no, you, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine? Yeah, okay. except you're taking damage. <laughs> from, okay, from brambles? Yep. Ow. 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 Ouch. Ow. Owie, my bones. <laughs> Perhaps I can help you up the tree It's like yet. in The Simpsons. Ow. Quit it. Ow. Quit it. Ow. Quit it. <laughs> You take twelve points of piercing damage show, as you, oh, fuck. as you, uh, ow, oh, ow, 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 you like you keep placing your hands in places that you think is clear, but then there's just tinier spines that you just didn't see, and you, uh, and eventually you make it up to the top of the tree and you look out, make a perception check. So it's a good thing I took that second <laughs> hit die on the long on the short rest. Oh, honey, you'd be dead. I was at 10 HP, now I'm back to 10 HP. I would have passed out from trying to climb the tree. Alright, what am I rolling? Perception. Sorry. Perception. Plus two. As I pull up my maps to give you a proper direction. Alright, so I can't see shit. What'd you roll? A natural one. Ooh. You guys hear in this forest forever. You guys in fact hear the ow. bird shuts in my you eyes. You hear ow, <laughs> ow, ow. You hear, I got it. Squaw! <laughs> ah! Snap! Ah! <laughs> and Kariat is falling. <laughs> Are you gonna make me waste my last <laughs> TikTok three, <laughs> two. <laughs> I go and try to catch. Fall. <laughs> As you <laughs> fucking cast feather fall. Karya driftly quickly drifts into <laughs> Tuckton's open waiting arms. <laughs> well, uh, this is probably let, maybe let's just follow the the life. compass there. I don't put her down. <laughs> uh, it, it, hey, you know what? It's just the worst day of your life so far, and I'm gonna cast cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. You, you. It's exactly you, what I needed to hear right now. Oh, you get six points of healing back. Don't you worry, none. Right, thanks. Thanks, but it, it is only uphill from here. You look down at the hill down below. <laughs> so, I know which way is north. I know which way is south. So if we choose direction, eventually we're gonna get out of these woods. Now, whichever way that serpent went, we're gonna go the opposite way. It 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 went yeah. north. Just so you guys know. <laughs> then we're gonna go. Then we're gonna go south. Uh, okay with everyone. I guess if we have no choice or we don't know which way, then I'm I'm very fine with that. Yeah, right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I am. And Freya's gonna force a smile. <laughs> All right. This way then. <laughs> just start walking south. Oh, captain, I'm, my captain. <laughs> I'm glad your move and your mood has improved. It is not all bad. And like, he, like uh, Ramsey's like keeps going. He's just captain. Like, he's like this is very, fun. very like Dolores Umbridge. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you guys? Uh, it's, do you remember when everyone was making posts where it's like everyone hated Dolores Umbridge more than Voldemort? Because everyone had a shitty teacher. Yeah. Well, like, basically, she just made... J.K. Rowling just made herself. <laughs> it's her self-insert. <laughs> Literally. Oh, I don't think J.K. Rowling tortured people and put made branded them. See, well, see, we, 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 don't we, we, we like that. We don't know that she did. That's a little bit above her. I don't know. Is it? Mental torture, eh? Still a, still a shitty person. <laughs> True. Yeah. It's it's the second session, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it is the first and, session. And your point is... Anyways, marching so, order, please. Penelope, please come next to me. Walk with me. Who's uh, first? Uh, 
Yeah, all right. I'll... Yeah, let's put the wizard with no more spell slots first. Let's okay. do that. Freya's in front. Uh, I'll... I'll go beside Freya. Okay, Karia. Who's in the next slot down? Ramses would go. Oh, uh, and, and I guess I'm walking beside Ramses, yeah. And then Fenlo. Okay. What, uh, what... What type of uh, trees are these? Are they are they like brittle? Like you want to try and break a piece off? I want to. Yeah, I want. I just want to see if my club will do anything, okay. or if it, they need slashing. Um, anything. you can club some of the spines. Do fall off, but it's not a ton. Like you're not breaking off every piece of it. Um, I'll just stay in the back okay. then. Yeah. Actually, I have an I have an hand axe, and I'm gonna pull out my hand axe. Shoop. <laughs> and I'll just start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you <laughs> keep chopping. It's not everything. It does more than the club, but it, these something something isn't right with these trees. Chopping through them mm. proves to be difficult, and I'm just trying to break the brambles. I'm not trying to like chop a tree down. Yeah, I'm no, just, I'm, I'm just, I mean that too. Like the even the bits. branches. This okay. hand axe doesn't seem to want to like go through, and some of the like the weaker swings you may do when you're tired just kind of glide off of them, and you're like, Ugh. and then you ke- and you go keep going with heavier swings and everything that kind of breaks off some of the bigger spines, but some of the smaller ones, if you guys place your hands on it, like ow, and you pull up your hand really quickly. Um, Freya, can you make me a survival check with advantage because you have a compass? Thank you. <laughs> ah, still not great. Uh, uh, eight minus one is seven. Oh no! <laughs> um, you guys walk for probably about an hour with the help of Tecton's sun tile. It's about two thirty by the time you get back to the stream you guys fell into, or you fell near. <laughs> how did how did we get here? We were oh. And then you, and then uh, you realize, oh, oh wait, it's the red needle I'm supposed to be following for north, and the white one mm. points away. Goddamn. You, right. you should have. We should have turned right at Albuquerque. I'm gonna try climbing a tree one more time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot catch you if you fall. Uh, I, perhaps I will try climbing instead. Yeah, I yeah, ma- are... I, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of healing you and getting sass for it. So you know what? Let someone else do when it. When have I that. ever sassed you? Y- you know what? Uh, l- let's I've be extra never safe about it. You. you just did. Um, we, anybody got any rope there? Yeah, uh, yeah. I have twenty. Have Forty-five. No, four, forty-five feet. I have been rope. Okay, so we're gonna so we're gonna swing one of those ropes over a branch, then tie it to you, and then if you go up a tree, <laughs> then uh, you can use that other branch to slow your fall or at least make you swing or something, you know. Sure, it sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Breaker pelvis. You know, it's not as bad as breaking your brain if you're Sorry. falling. Yeah, you guys can gather. Do the old Gwen Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wait oh, until the second session for that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, too dark. Too dark. Uh, well, I would have loved it if this campaign started with all of us splatting on the ground and dying, and we had to make new characters already. <laughs> we were out of feather fall spells. Yeah, I I, I knew loved. we're out of feather fall spells it. now. I was I was I was counting for his spell slots. Don't worry. <laughs> I thought we were just gonna, I don't know, make it fine somehow. I thought you would just. <laughs> I met the people who push us off a cliff, like in A very large or trampoline is at the bottom. Nah. Trampoline. For the last time, we did not order a giant trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> told me that before I We bounce it back up to Zelestin. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't have enough room okay. to catch on to Zelestin, so you just begin to fall again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, Damn it. Oh, alright. Uh, right. Tecton, is this not okay? I'm not proficient in uh, <laughs> not tying. Uh, well, you know what? I'm not too weak either, but yeah, I could take a you swing at it. You guys can tie some knots together. With the combined effort of y'all smarty pants, you guys can make a... Five people. Uh, y'all. Actually, wait, no. I think I think tying knots is part of Mason because you would need to like move. 
Probably. Regardless, like, with five people, you guys can, like, figure out some tying structures for, um, Kariad. Kariad, please make me an athletics check again. It, yeah. It's for Ramses, mm. who's climbing the tree. I think that's what we agreed on, right? Oh, Ramses is going, not Kariad? Is it? Uh, you're... I think so. Good. Yeah. That's... Car- Kariad, you're so low on health. Let someone else do it. <laughs> I've got 16 left. <laughs> yeah. And you lost that climbing up. I lost, you lost 12. 12 yeah, you lost, you. yeah, you lost that, and then you would lose more falling, because we can't catch you. It's weird that we know the numeric values. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. <laughs> We're just saying that how many bones. You only have, you have 16 I lost bones. 12 <laughs> bones. I lost 12 bones in my body. You got your trachea. They <laughs> were to the littered. <laughs> I they were trachea. all pinky the bones. Is the throat. It's not even a bone. It's Going like... back to Harry Potter, it's like when Gilderoy Lockhart took all the bones stop. out of Harry's eyes. For the love of God, stop let's bring stop you, talking about the turf I'm story. Gonna do, I'm going to try my hardest. Stop. I'm going to try my hardest to always bring a conversation back to Harry Potter. No, stop. Is it possible stop doing to it. have an arm without bones in it? Like, can you just cut it open and take out the bones? Or not, like, it has, it like, would just be all muscle and fat. Yeah, Everyone can you is do that? No, is that a thing? Anyone. Or do you have to have the bones for the muscles? Hey, Ramses, put us on? back on rail by Start making climbing. your athletics check, please. Uh, oh, wait, uh, don't worry, guys. I will climb the tree. I All of the Harry Potter's <laughs> cutting out. I'm cutting it out. Uh, I'm a very uh, good <laughs> what, sorry? Unnatural okay. 20. I'm having a very good time. This You're going to take half, yeah, half of damage. If this was Kariad, Kariad would be so down. Uh, you take seven points of piercing damage. Uh, that's halved, so 14 would have been the total. I'd have still been alive. Unless you fell. Yeah, and then you... And then you Unless fall. I fell. You climb up to the Guys, top. this is actually... This does not feel nice at all. Kariad, my, my uh, condolences go out to you and your hands. <laughs> Somebody gets it. Uh, please make a perception check, Ramses. Okay. That's the second check. roll where everything falls apart. That is an eight. <laughs> yep. Please, please, please be a <laughs> mercy. Bird. Have mercy. It is okay. I think I see something. <laughs> we need to get out of the fucking soul. forest. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be stuck here forever for the next three. Yeah, seconds. we can't even get out of the. the yeah, forest. we can't even get out of the fucking forest for like three three sessions. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do it. Don't do it. You got that look on your face. Don't do it. We broke. Oh, don't do it. Oh, I had <laughs> drink in my mouth. I was trying not to spit it everywhere. <laughs> you hear? Ah! Spl- uh! Snap! <laughs> and Kariad, yeah, you are. Or, sorry, Ramses, you not are suspended Kariad, by a rope. Um, you're gonna take half the folly damage. There is a bird, and I swear it intentionally shit in my eyes. <laughs> was that the same bird that shit in my eyes? Oh my god, I need a calculator. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast prestigitation on Cariad. Ramses, you take eight points of falling damage. Oh god. You're... I still maintain I didn't do nothing. And, and Ramses is like five feet swinging from the forest floor. Also, this very much so hurts my <laughs> rock hard abs. So if I want to... Humble brag. That's bloody hot. Please take me down. I'm gonna, That's bloody I'm gonna, hot, Ramses. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Rail. burn Thank my you. last spell slot and reach up and touch We're Ramses. Dead. We are dead. We're dying in this forest. And cast cure wounds. Um, what is everyone's passive perception? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Twelve. Mm-hmm. Um, Nine. Eleven. Fenlo? It's ten. And Ramses, you heal six. Tecton? Thank you. Ten. Okay. Kariad, you hear a snap in the forest. Everyone get low. And I... Right, I... we'll quickly walk over and, like, cut Ramses free. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look around. Make a perception check. Eyes eyes are peeled. Uh fifteen. You see looking like when you peer through where you heard the sound, you see 
for a minute there, you see the legs of a man. And then from the waist up, just a snake body. Green scale, it eyes yellow, uh, pierced, pulled back, t tongue <laughs> pulls back, like a beige chest and stomach, muscles, like humanoid in, in nature, but it, it looks not good. I'm going to quickly pull out my longbow and I'm going to fire an arrow off away from us and away from it. Okay. I'm just going to make some make... noise off like t like 200 feet away from us. Make a deception check for me. Ooh. Deception. Solid. I mean, that's bad for me, but... <laughs> But we're having fun. Right. Is it, can can everyone else see it? Is um, a... hey, as I got what a, was it? I got a minus one, but that's still seventeen. That's pretty so. good. Um, as Kariad quickly tells you guys to get low, you cut Ramsey screen, who lands on the ground. Tekton and everyone else, you guys begin to see this full snake, like body humanoid abomination of a thing, and then Kariad pulls out her bow quickly stays low, shoots it off into the distance. You hear it clatter and it... Ah. Um, does anybody speak Draconic? I do. Do you actually? Yeah. Nice. Uh, it's... Here's something. We need to check it out. Go. And you hear... What was that noise? You hear footsteps <laughs> moving off into the distance. I'll, I'll look at Karyad and like, give a thumbs up on Kariad's gesturing like we get the fuck out of here now. Uh, Freya's gonna reconjure the the compass because it goes away after an hour, and she's gonna give it to Kariad. Just like I'll inspect the compass. I'll look for the red needle this okay. time. Uh, I'm gonna assume you're you're taking you're gonna take the lead on this one. So make me a survival check. Survival. Is anyone here good at wisdom? <laughs> Nope. Nope. <laughs> I have a zero to win. That makes sense. We're very unwise. <laughs> I got oh a plus my god. One, but that's oh fuck. That's we're a bunch of we're a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. So eight uh plus zero eighteen. Oh oh also you get advantage 18? because of the compass, so roll one more time just to see advantage. you don't get anything higher. Eighteen again. Okay. Um you guys carefully... Are you guys moving quickly? Are you guys stealthing? Are you guys going to move at a normal pace? Stealth? Sure. Probably stealth. Still. Everyone make me stealth checks, please. Wait, shit. Somebody's not good at stealth, right? I'm not. I am sorry if I am too loud. I have never had to hide my presence. Before. Oh, that was almost so good. That was almost so good. So maybe we shouldn't stealth. Maybe we too shouldn't late. Run. But, okay. All right. Another 18, baby. Nope. Kariad, <laughs> what'd you get? Uh, eight. <laughs> Minus ten <laughs> low. I got a 14. Okay. Freya. Nine. Ramses. Four. Mm -hmm. Texan. <laughs> Fuck! 16. We're snapping all the branches. <laughs> every, yeah, every step is <laughs> for the first uh, like for the first probably like fifteen minutes of travel. It's good. Everyone's pretty quiet. The armor isn't as loud as it could be. Then the next fifteen minutes is a little louder. A few sticks find their way every so often. <laughs> A bird takes off. I loved the cat. I loved the cat noise that Freya did. <laughs> and then the next 15 minutes is where it gets hairy. It? Suddenly, uh, Ramsey's your foot sinks, and you're like, oh, shit. And you clink, 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 clink. And then finally you run into them. Ugh. And then Nikariad, you like trip a little bit and you fall into them. And, and Freya, you step on a squirrel and it's just like, Yee! and it like tries to run away. But you're like, still all your weights put down. You're like, oh shit. And you like, let go. And it like turns at you and it charges. And you're like, Ugh! and you like kick it. And it like, yeah. And then, and then you guys hear. Rrr! And then you guys all like, huh! 
and you get up to a tree and you see that same lizard with the snake, the T-Rex arms and the snake body and it, and it comes and looks around and it like looks the other way and you guys go, okay. And you just kind of try to siddle away from it gently and then crunch. You look down, Kariad, and you step on the biggest <laughs> hollow branch. I, I, I didn't even get the lowest roll. Oh, it's a grip roll. Um, <sighs> and then, and then you hear, oh and then the big beady eyes turn to it, one on each side of the head, and then you see another eye appear on its forehead, and then just eight to ten eyes open up around its snout. And it's staring oh, at it's me? Oh, it's staring at all of you. All different eyes. All right. And you guys just go, um... Bluff time. Bluff time? I'm gonna, st- I'm gonna step forward. And I'm gonna go, what the bloody hell are you doing? And I'm gonna point it, my finger right at it. Fucking Make an hand. intimidation yeah. check I'm gonna, I'm gonna with intimidate. disadvantage, please. <laughs> hey, M- Miss Carriad, I don't mean this in any way offensively, but you're an idiot. Shut up, I'm doing something. <laughs> <laughs> so with disadvantage you, sure? you said do we have any healing <laughs> no, no I'm out <laughs> I have one and I have five points for lay on hands so it was a 15 but it went down to a 9 you go what are you doing you point at your finger what the bloody hell it are you doing it works its head a little bit all the eyes blink in various different moments <laughs> And it's big, uh, and now it distends, and it charges for you, and you go, ah, and you guys all fucking run. You book it down through the forest. The next- Nobody else did anything. quite literally the next 15 Why minutes. Why would just you guys going, <laughs> I need you guys to all make me athletics checks. Wait, how, how big is uh, it? About a house. Just like about the, the size of a house. It's the size of a building. Oh, God. Oh. Fuck off! This was athletics, you said? Athletics, yes. Cariad. Um, thank you. 22. Sorry, say it again. 22. Thank you. Uh, Fenlo Weddle. I got an 18. 18? Okay. Yes. Uh, Freya. 8. Okay. Uh, Ramses. 23. Okay. Tecton. 15. Okay. Freya begins to fall behind and quickly Ramses you just scoop up Freya put her uh, as a backpack and you guys uh, uh, and it's like 15 minutes of near constant running as you guys dart out from tree lines as it uh, and snaps in the air trying to grab one of you guys as you jump rapidly off of a branch uh, swinging somewhere bits and spines poke and grab you you guys are all gonna take three points of piercing damage as you guys finally see some semblance of light in the tree line and you charge forward break out the sun hits your face warms you up from the cool chill of this bramble wood and then the you see the the eyes kind of reach the tree line you don't see the rest of the lizard you just see the eyes poking out from different spots and it looks at you all and then you hear it slither away uh, you're a tosser. <laughs> and I'm gonna get away from the tree line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, thank and you guys, forest. you guys oh see, uh, probably about a hundred feet is a small town. I'll put uh, Freya down now. Thank, thank you. <laughs> it is no trouble. Oh. I gotta, I gotta catch my breath. Oh, uh, I think I like start dry heaving just <laughs> when you like run yeah. too much and you kind of feel like you have to puke. Yeah. That's every time I run. Cardio is important. It so is, but I don't uh. do it. <sighs> we have made it to a village today. That today success. has been not great just gonna put it out there. Today has been not great, so it can either get worse and then she's just gonna start walking towards the village. (laughs) 
Hello, and welcome to the Interim of Chronicles of Gaia. I'm your friendly neighborhood dungeon master, and I'm here to tell you a few things and give a couple thanks while we are waiting for our players to catch their breath after that daring fall from their island home and chase through the forest. If you listened to the last episode in this episode, thank you guys so much for doing so. I know it's a little hard to carve out some of the longer podcasts into a busy day, but I hope that doing the dishes, traveling to work, bike rides, drowning out babies crying, um, whatever you're doing while you're listening to this uh, becomes a little better when you're hearing us run and scream at each other. But I have a few things I want to do. I want to thank a few people. But first, if you have not already, if you could rate, review, subscribe, do whatever it is you do on a platform that you're listening to this, whether it be YouTube or Spotify or Apple Podcast or Stitcher or whatever else this is on, that'd be great. It helps us get to more people. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is at cog.rpg, and Twitter is at cogrpg, without that dot in the middle. If you're on our Twitter and our Instagram, you might have seen when we started that we had awesome character portraits, and we have an awesome thumbnail made by Saron Thomas, and you can commission him, and you can find all that on his Twitter, at the shockwave 48 Also, if you were on our Twitter and Instagram, you might have seen an animated gif of Zeleste in the island town where the party fell from in this episode. The person who did it, her name is Ruchika, she did it all. You can actually commission her for more graphic art and possibly a gif even on freelancer.com and her handle is adgraphicart13. I also want to thank Elk, who is another friend who did the intro, the mid-break music that brought you here, and the outro music you heard the last episode and the end of this episode, eventually, hopefully. Uh, You can commission him on Coffee. He does art as well. Uh, You can commission him to do art and sketches at Elk underscore Lord. If you just want to see more of his art, then you can go out and follow him on Twitter and Instagram. On Twitter, it is Lord underscore Elk. And on Instagram, it's at Elk underscore Lord underscore Art. The next person I want to thank, a big thank you, is Tim. I want to give him as much credit as he deserves. He is the composer and runner of a website called tabletopaudio.com, where he has libraries of different ambiance music that we are going to use on the podcast and people use for their videos out there in their home games. He has been running the site since 2014, and he's won multiple awards. He does some awesome music, and they're over two minutes, which is something that I look for when pulling music for my own games. They're about 10 minutes long, and they have a bunch of uses, and I'm going to use them in the episode, and he's just awesome. You should go and use his music, tabletopaudio.com. You should donate to him. If you want to see more from him and help him out, you can also find him on Patreon, patreon.com slash tabletop audio where you can find different various versions and join over a thousand people in helping him continue to run his website and make his music he is awesome 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 and i hope to be a patreon a patron of his soon all right that's it from me i'm going to take you back now to the action as our players our characters try to catch their breath in this new undiscovered ground floor world. As you guys all kind of pick up your feet, continue to move forward away from the dinosaur forest that stabs you, you guys begin to take stock of each other. Um, Many spines poke out of you. Your hair's all mussed up. You guys are sweaty. There's dirt covering you. There's saliva sticking to your armors and clothing from the dinosaur thing. You guys stroll into town. Um, You see around you fields of uh, different livestock that are running out. Sheep, cow, goat, chicken. You see multiple farmers kind of in the midst of their day. It's probably about looking at the sundial, 3.30. Do you see them at work? They all kind of wave at you if you get, if you're relatively close to them. Some kids are playing out in the yard. Um, All the doors are emblazoned, and you guys all know this being from Zelestin, is emblazoned with the symbol of Pelor, who is um, probably for a farming town that the 
one of the key figures. He's the god of light, healing, uh, agriculture. So um, they probably pray to him for good like stock or like uh, of good farming and everything for the season. It's you know the sun's getting real low. <laughs> real low, big guy. Um, Didn't somebody <laughs> see this town? I'm, in there? I'm, I'm gonna oh. cast prestigitation on everybody like one at a time Ooh. just to clean us okay. up. That's um, a, good a lot of the dirt and the saliva sifts away, but the giant spinies just stick in there. Yeah, I, I gotta pluck them out. Um, you guys kind of see. Oh, don't be a baby. Coming up from the farm area, there is a large, what looks to be house in the middle of the town square with uh, what looks to be a um, a store next to it. And then in the distance, you see a large kind of like looming building, red roof, kind of like a trapezoid shaped roof. <laughs> and on the front, it says Lucy's Hut. My friends, for some reason, I think I have been to this town before. And that I recently have got. What was this that thing you saw? Uh, Ramsey just like puts like a hand on his chin. He looks like deep in thought with his brow furrowed and he does like a brisk nod to uh, Fenlo to acknowledge that yes, I think this is. Uh, I think your faith in fate seems to be paying off some, doesn't it? It's always that. What was the future you saw? I don't know if it was. Uh, in my future it was peaceful. It, uh, I woke up in the field. The brief feeling of uh, the warmth of the sun on myself, and grasslands and farms that extended much bigger than what Gaia has. There was a tranquility to it, and there's many people who prayed to Pelor. Do you see was, anything? Uh, do you see anything uh, about those woods back there? Or? Uh, Ramsey like rubs his like temple just below where his like headband is. And uh, he thinks for a second, and I remember something briefly. Uh, scramble, uh, ramble, uh, <laughs> ramble woods. There's something along those lines. But the the images they move so quickly; it is hard to remember. I more remember the sensation I felt when I was there, opposed to the finer details. But the symbols and the, it's harder to say because it is becoming evening but it just feels i'm almost certain that this is what i saw you guys look around there's like 10 to 12 signs that are like beware of bramblewood mm. <laughs> mm. yeah so uh now so, you bloody tell us <laughs> so well, ramses I mean, you you're uh you're kind of if this is the pelor preaching place you're at an advantage um, well, you know, I figure that you're you're pretty much kind of like a fallen sort of prophet, you know. You're a I if we're if we're going into this town, you know, and we're going to ask them for help, that might be a good uh, angle. I don't I don't think we can play the fallen angel card here. I'm well, sure. you know, w what are they going to think of us? We're going to tell them that we're Why the, the council members from the Floating Island. I Why see no reason to lie to another holy man. Why, why don't we just say we we're are... wandering adventurers? You know that checks out. Yeah, I'm I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying, uh, you know, I think we should lie in this scenario. <laughs> I... With our clo clothes all torn up, <laughs> I don't think saying we fell out of the sky is gonna do much good. I I think that's a quick way to end up in a mental institute of some sort, right? Perhaps they will not ask us such intricate questions. Perhaps we say we need lodging, and then they will uh, show us accommodations. If we ask in earnest, I think most people are good and will not, you know. Or you know, they could come at us with like pitchforks or uh, torches then, or something. You know? then, Why would we do that? What we, we should are... do. I think what we should do is we should go into town. We should see what their reaction is to us. And then gauge our response <laughs> okay. based on that. If they're angry, why would they like. be angry? If they're nice, if they well, we've Who already knows? had people waving at us. This is a town of the Dawn Father. I do not see there being many issues to arise then... from anybody just coming to seek refuge. I say we move forward, and <clears throat> we are people just like anyone else. <laughs> there is no reason. <laughs> 
for us to be treated with bias and hostility if we do not threaten them. Alright, I don't know much about this whole religion stuff, so if you believe they're good people, I won't blame you until after they get this. Well, then you won't be able to blame them, will you? Yeah. Mm. That's cool. You still have like falling out of the sky. What's the worst that could happen? What are you guys doing? Don't don't ever say that. Don't ever say that. Well, you you know you know Ramses. I think you have the best thing in mind, but I do agree with you, Freya. Uh, if we're if we're going in, we should just let them see what we're about and then uh, tell some uh, tall tales there. You all talk like you have never spoken to another person before. Yeah, what's, it, it, what's it ain't gonna thought? be that hard. Thank you, Pablo. Ramses is gonna make his way over to the like hexagonal building that you had just okay. described. So you kind of make your way through the town. Other farmers do begin to wave and kind of like, "How you doing? How are you today? How are you today? Oh my God, you look you look tired. You should go up and have a rest. Oh, have a nice day as you guys pass." Thank you so much. All different Thank you. body types, races, sizes, all that. Um, you guys find your way. The roof of this building is red and very, like, hexagonal. Almost like a hat. Like a weird, like, uh, sun hat. Um, the building is very, like, rectangular and shapen. Um, like, like, lighter brown edges. And on the sign it says Lucy's Hut. Um, when you come in, <laughs> there's nobody in here. But the smell of bread, corn, um tomato, Sauce. Um, freshly cut vegetables, kind of like a home-cooked meal kind of hits your nostrils. Um, you hear some banging in the back, um, and you hear, uh, just one second, be out in a minute. Um, and then, uh, but, like, literally ten seconds later, um, a elven woman, uh, pointed ears out, uh, kind of like light brown hair that kind of comes down in a messy kind of uh, falling down her over her shoulders. She has um, her kind of capris are all kind of like dirtied up. She has that half apron that just sits on the waist with like pockets in it. And like a, uh, a that matches the roof, a red shirt um, with the black kind of colored capris. And she comes out and she goes, hi, what? She's like looking down at her little pad of paper already like ready to like seemingly take your order. And she's like, hi, how can I? Oh my God, you were in the bramble wood, weren't you? <laughs> Um, uh, yes, that is actually true. We were hoping to seek some sort of lodging for Yeah, I'm going to assume you need some lodging, a stiff deal. drink, and a meal is what I'm going to assume you need. You are so kind and very perceptive, well, too. I would very much so appreciate that for me and my friends, and Ramsey will gesture. Well, you guys aren't the first adventurers that have come in here after having all their dreams shattered in the Bramblewoods. So, um, come on in, come on in. I've got good food, got good drink, and I've got some good rooms in here. She gestures over to any table that's all free. Okay. Uh, it, is, it is fine, I told you. Let us, let's take a seat. Well, I, I severely uh, overestimated the, the hostility of yeah, these yeah, uh, you did. folks. Yeah, you did. What? <laughs> Have you not heard of us before? We're pretty, like, we're pretty, well, like, we're not very big, but we're widely known as a very kind people. We, we yeah. ain't from around here. Oh, so you're from Those Ennis? Places. Like, a few of you guys got some similar dialects, but I guess, I guess Ennis has some places. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I must say, your town is very beautiful. It is lovely to see the symbol of Pelor. Uh, like, every left and right. And everyone I have come in contact with is more than friendly. Well, it's a, it is refreshing. It's a very friendly town. You'll f hardly find anyone who isn't ready to have a conversation or um at least wave as you pass by um so what what is everyone drinking i'll get you guys that to start with yeah uh, a wine would be wine. lovely uh okay. water just... with the lemon slice please uh water water water, water. lemons water suppose a lemonade uh do you want some of the bottom shell i don't know why i'm going cockney all of a sudden uh do you want some of that bottom stuff uh, shelf stuff or the top kind of nice stuff. Uh, it is not a celebration for myself, but uh, hmm. <laughs> I will take something that you recommend. Okay. Maybe nothing uh, too crazy. Sure. Just the sure. glass will be fine. You, you know, could we also have a, a good uh, meal in front of us? Sure, I'll bring you the menu in just a minute. Okay. The special is. 
Um, w- one one last thing. We yeah. got a little turned around in the Bramble Woods. I don't mean to be rude. Where exactly are we? Oh, you guys must have came from the north or something. Maybe by a Rodal or something. Yeah. This is um Yarlford. Yarlford, yeah. Yarlford. Hey, thank you, thank you. Yarlford. We we just want to make sure we weren't some... like way off course. Yeah, no. I'll I'll uh, go get y'all a drink, and so I'll bring you back that menu. And she points to Tecton, and and then um yeah, maybe I can help you out some further. And she kind of takes a step back and goes back to the bar. The bar is like uh, like kind of painted black. There's uh um it's not a wide selection of ales and wines, but there's enough to have a selection, a choice. Um, she brings you guys back those who asked for water, water with some lemons and some limes, like. Uh, cut up into it um she kind of uh brings you over a nice kind of full glass of wine and a big large beady mug of ale and she sets it down and she sets down a menu in front of all of you um it's not a very big menu um but (laughs) but it has a wide selection on it some of the appetizers like corn on the cob with like an aioli um, you know, some different mixed <laughs> vegetables, a, a couple salads are on there, but on the back of it has a thing on the top of it titled pizza. Chronicles <laughs> 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 of Gaia. Um, I forgot this was here. Would taste good. This uh, sounds interesting. It is like Pizza. Bread and tomato sauce. Exactly. Yeah, we put it there, Pizza. and you get to choose the cheese. If you want extra cheese, you just pay a little bit more, and then you get go down. And she like points to the menu. She goes down here. You get to pick what kind of vegetables or even sometimes fruit you can put on your. If we don't, if we, if you have something that might pick your fancy that's not on the menu that you want to add, maybe I can do it. It just depends what we have on stock. Fruit. You can what put you... fruit on this. Yeah. Some people like oh. uh, the the salty and the savory and the, with the mix with the sweet and the heat. It kind of really uh, makes it nice. Seeing some people Impossible. have the spicy stuff on the pineapple and it apparently works out really well. If possible, disgusting. Uh, can I get a, one of these pies with, <laughs> with pear and feta cheese? <laughs> Yeah, sure, why not? And she writes it down. She's like, we just got a shipment of pears in yesterday. Old uh, Farmer Johnson. Fucking Ramsey's the Epicurean. Can... Sweet and salty. One of my favorite <laughs> combinations. Any of y'all want to eat anything? Or are you guys just, do you want to split this? Do you want to make it a big one? No, uh, no, just bring me something. I don't, it doesn't matter. We're, uh, we're kind of, uh, we need some time to talk. And, uh, sure, sure. I will, uh, does anybody else and... want anything specific? Or do you just want me to bring an original over? Um, could, could could I get could I get some cornbread? Yeah, sure. I don't know what honey. it is, but it sounds awesome. Oh, you'll love it. Don't worry. Especially with a dialect like that, you're gonna love it. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> I like the sound of original. Alrighty, I'll bring I'll, I'll bring it around to share, and then uh, when when it comes out, if you need anything, just give me a holler. My name is, as it says on the sign, my name is Lucy. I'll do. Oh. Thank this. you, Lucy. Pet. Pepperoni. All right, sounds like Pepperoni. an original. Great. I'll bring you. I'll bring it all around in probably about ten minutes. And she takes her leave from the table. I'm still not fully convinced that I'm still hung over in that bed up there. <laughs> this has all just been a terrible, terrible dream. Well, I mean, given last night, I wouldn't put it past you. You drank like three kegs of wine. Uh. Yeah, from yeah, it's been a while since I've had a drink, so I might have gone a little overboard. You, you don't, I like, but um, I, I don't know much about the alcohol, Hall, but like, ain't you supposed to start up again small? Ramsey takes like a, a sip of his wine and puts like the the cup down. I forgot what I was going to say, but <laughs> <laughs> I am happy that the day is turning out so well. Oh, <laughs> that the day is ending so well. I mean, we started off a little rough, and now it yeah. has improved greatly. We get to eat new food, we have met lovely people, and uh, we are in a safe space where we have a chance to talk and figure out what is to do next. And you were worried, Carrie. Well, Carrie had was... You, you know, you know Ramses, I, th- I think you got a point there. Uh, morale's been kind of low since we were in that forest. 
and about to die. So I do think we should be more uh, optimistic and look on the brighter side that we are, you know, we're we're down we're, here and we we can't go back up. We got to make it. That is the spirit. And Ramsey like snaps his fingers at Tecton and he's like, morale has gotten low since we fell off the, the, the island. It has just plummeted like we did. And now, <laughs> now, <laughs> and now it is where we are at. It is exactly ground level, and now there is only up to go. And with that, he like raises his I'm glass, sorry. and he's like, "To new beginnings." I'll cheers. I I don't know what y'all are. New beginnings. I don't know what y'all are doing. Y'all are just raising your glasses, looking kind of funny. Well, you kept them. Raise your glass. I I raise you my don't glass. You don't raise your glass. Ale. I I don't. Right. I don't know what this is. Uh, cheers is a toast or something. When you are in agreement or you need to announce something. Oh. It's a great method. How do you not know what that is? You have lived on Gaia your whole life. Uh, well, I mean, uh, there ain't much agreeing happening at dinner times. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Ramsey puts his arm around uh Penwell and says, it's okay. We are at a different table today. You know, I forgot you were like uh, 14 there. I, I ain't 14. I'm 18. I really know. I know, that was a joke. No. I'm 18 and three quarters. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Freya. Ohio. What are you saying, Freya? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Oh god, now I'm talking like. Penlo. Yeah, no, sorry. That's There's so bad. many accents <laughs> flying around. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh,. I'm not gonna lie. I honestly don't really know a whole lot about you. Like, not just Finlow, but, you know, most of you. I've been kind of into myself these past couple of years and probably don't know you all as well as I should, so I'll stop. I'll lower my guard because this place actually seems kind of nice. <sighs> Maybe just try to enjoy tonight. I thought, well, I mean, you enjoyed last night, too, so this is just like, you're enjoying all the time. It's gonna be great. <laughs> that is the spirit, Fenlo. Your optimism is quite refreshing. Is that what it is? Indeed. Oh, alright, no, good. No, I, I don't want to be annoying nobody. Speak more liberally, my friend. I think you worry too much about what you are going to say. You say it straightforward and true, and you say it with conviction. You know, sometimes... Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes you just lie, though, like we were about to do. I, uh, <laughs> I, I do think that we need to decide on what, or what are we gonna do? Are we trying to go back to Celestia? Well, I or mean, we. I, I what is, think, what's the what's the plan here? I mean, I think whatever it is, we're on the right track. I mean, one of the future Vision Watch and McCallits has kind of come to pass. Because now we're in the town that Ramsey saw. So now it's just a matter of seeing what other of them futures do and don't come to pass. So I like what you are saying. I say it is. this is just step one. You know, there is many futures we may have to see or deal with. But for now... I do not know. I think we are on the right track, though. Did anyone else see this village? Uh, no. I saw something else. I want to ask the DM, did I see this village? In your in your vision? Yeah, not necessarily like the decapitation one, uh, but any of them? No, not no, not specific enough to not like really catch it. It also it seems like a pretty bland town as well. Like, there's not like any key... Like, ooh, look at now everything. All the cows are glowing green. Like, there's nothing that, like... <laughs> the Peller symbols yeah, everywhere. Yeah, it wasn't, like, fully it's enough. enough. Oh, what, what do y'all do to enjoy an evening? I don't remember how I used to enjoy my evenings. What does hurt you, friend? <laughs> hmm? You... Uh, you, you, the, what you have just said and other things you have indicated to throughout um, previous nights. You do not know how you enjoy your evening. How do you not know how you enjoy your evening? You are Fe in your evening every night. Fe Fenlo is very clearly like doing this. 
at Ramses. What is he doing? Like, stop? Like, like, yeah, just waving a finger back and forth. No, 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 no. This is a I'm just like cringing. audio medium. Fenlo, what are you doing? He is he is making the no 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 motion by waving his hand across his neck over and over, <laughs> oh, which no. I just did, Ramsey, but I forgot. Ramsey puts his hands up, uh, like kind of like emptily. If it is not the place I should be crossing into, I will not. But you did say you wish to lower your guard, and so I again I speak with conviction and I speak liberally. I do not ask to offend you. You know what's alright? I'm sure most of you remember that, well, maybe the wee ones don't as much, but eight years ago, there was an accident at my house. An explosion happened, and I lost my husband and my son. And was this like a well? Yes, event? I was just gonna hop in really quickly before you finish. Tacton, you remember it clearly. You are um, an older gentleman, so uh, there was there was a night where you were probably like spending. You know, you were in your bed, and then there was just a plume of red somewhere in the city. You found out later on that there was an explosion at someone's abode, and um, there was two deaths in in there. Um, for the younger characters, Cariad, Ramses, and Fenlo, um, you guys were probably about 10 at the time, uh, 10 or 11. So there was times where your parents, for probably for about a week, your parents were very scarce for a lot of the time. Um, you guys, you were kind of left to your own devices for a little while because, I mean, Fenlo, you're specifically your parents and your grandparent was helping the um the council in this endeavor so you were kind of like left alone for a little while ramses your parents were a little more scarce than usual and Kariad, your uh, training was like waylaid to someone else for a little while um and there was this kind of like you knew it happened like you know there was an explosion you knew a house was on fire um but you weren't old enough to really get, garner a ton of the details oh yeah i apologize for picking up a uh, scar I did not mean to. Also, thank you for trusting us with such information. And I do send my condolences to you for your loss, no matter how long ago it was. It is not an easy feeling, I would not imagine. Thank you. Um, yeah, so... Just for... You know... Eight years seems like a long time. And you'd think after a while the pain goes, but it doesn't. And last night was the first time in a long, long while. And I just kind of let myself go for a bit. You know. I figured it'd be the last night for a while that I'd be able to since we were starting all this and, you know, none of us knew what we'd be doing. Um. But yeah. It's, you know. And she's just gonna, like, look down into her water. I'm just, like, looking very sullen the whole time, like. All of us are looking down in our dreams. <laughs> Alright, I got a feta and pear with the oh my um <laughs> with uh the and the pepperoni, the feta and pear one is like smaller, it's like medium, and she sets it down and, and the pepperoni is like massive, it's like party size, party party pizza. And she sets it down and it's all square and it's cut up. But the the feta and pear is like a regular round pizza. It's all cut up, it looks hot, it smells good. She goes, um sorry, I didn't didn't mean to interrupt no, anything. No, no, no. You, you're fine. You're fine. No, you're fine. No Don't trouble. worry. We think We're having a bit of an emotional moment here. <laughs> you're just barging you in. You know like what? That. I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget to Don't. read the room. I see a Don't lot of adventurers kind of look a little waylaid. Mm. 
Sometimes you just gotta get in there, otherwise they don't eat, then it goes to waste. Ramsey like puts a hand up as to like acknowledge Lucy and says, "Thank you for bringing us out of food. I apologize for this, but may I ask you to to leave uh, now? Yeah, oh, um, sure. Um, but uh, um, you're ready to b- before. Well, sorry. Um, I I I, I don't want to be a bother, but um. Is that cornbread ready? Oh, yeah! She, like, reaches <laughs> over the counter and sets it down <laughs> on the table. There, there you go. Um, yeah. Thank if you. you guys need a room, if you're planning to stay the evening, just give me a holler, all right? She she leaves Thank again. You. I'm going to place a hand on Freya's if I'm close enough. Just, that's it. <laughs> there was more to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, sorry. I'll, I'll fill in the silence. Yes, you put your hand on her. <laughs> and she'll like look over at you and just kind of like give you like a, a short smile and a nod and eventually after a little bit she'll like take the first piece or whatever and try it out it's amazing <laughs> like you don't have this food up in Zelestin so it it hits the spot in a weird way and how quick it came out you could figure this being a sensation up in Zelestin. I want some fucking pizza now, goddammit. I can describe it even more. The sauce touches your tongue and then the cheese comes in next. No, The small bite of meat spurns you to have more in your your mouth to get the full flavor. And this time you get a full slice of pepperoni as the savory taste of each individual spice kind of catches your tongue. Eventually you realize you've eaten the whole slice and you're now finishing with the crust, which is crispy on the outside to keep its uh, structure, but then soft on the inside and makes it excellent to taste. My parents fed the pie. It tastes very delicious too, actually. <laughs> like I said, sweet and salty, you cannot go wrong. Would you mind if I add a slice? Please, do, you do the honors. And I'll take a slice of the pear and feta. Huh. How, um, how's that one? The crumbly, kind of melty nature of the feta cheese hits in a different way uh, than the regular, like, kind of mozzarella that was on the other one. Uh, it, when the feta yeah, hit different. Uh, it, when, when you get over to the pear, it's not right. It, yeah, it's, <laughs> there's something... I'm pretty sure pear can go on pizza. <laughs> You feel like a different <laughs> fruit would hit better. Pineapple. I was going there more to the gross, so but... Right about... <laughs> yes. There is just something so right about this crisp pear on the pizza. I don't know what it is. It's the... I do not know. Perhaps uh, honey would I think would pear would be nice a little bit better, actually. Honey? That could be it. It could honey be was... the sauce that was I under could it. see honey being very good. Okay, I'm just gonna eat as fast as I can and then try to <laughs> rent a room. Um, you finish off the pizza very quickly, um, and you call Lucy over and she goes, "Hi, okay, what, what, yeah, room time?" Uh, yeah, if we could all, uh, if we all get a, a room here. Are you doing uh, individually? individually? Yeah, sure, please. definitely. So that'll yeah. be five silver pieces individually. Okay, I, I, I'll just pay for it. I'll take a big, big, huge, uh, like, coin purse out that looks like it's full (laughs) of, like, hundreds and hundreds, and I'll take out three. Three gold. Oh, you want to give her three gold? Okay. She goes, oh, excellent. Um, Thank you. Uh, She hands you out each individually Um, a key to an individual room each. Um, She goes, I would say checkout's at 11, but feel free to stay until, like, three or something. I don't know. Don't have a ton of business currently. Um... Bramblewood kind of gets into that. So. It is the Bramblewood kind of a new thing? That's oh, you in definitely way, stumbled into the Bramblewood then. Yeah, the Bramblewood only sprung out about a year ago. And it oh, just like shit. randomly appeared. Nobody really knows. Mm. Um, it's kind of cutting into some of the farmer's fields now, which is why the adventurers are kind of coming in. The mayor, uh, she kind of put out a, uh, like a contract out for people to come in. She's paying like 500 gold for anybody who can deal with it. That's, uh, you know, that's fortunate because we are adventurers. Um. You don't have to tell me. You guys are all dressed in, um, adventuring garb. Um, yeah, clearly. You know, a ragtag group of, uh, very, uh, powerful, you, but weak people. Yeah, you're, um, you're, you're, yeah, she's, you're she's tooting just, the horn a little hard there, Tecton. 
I don't know, she might not be able to tell you a bit more, but from what I can hear from the farmers, it's mainly just, like, every time they cut down on it, like, I mean, it started like a small bush, and then they cut it down, and then the next day it came back, and it was just bigger. And each day they tried to cut it down, it was taking them, like, hours out of their day, till, like, fields were kind of getting out of sorts with, like, weeds and stuff like that, but every night it just kept springing up, and nobody, and people tried to keep an eye on it to see when it grows, but for some reason, they just can't fi like find when it exactly grows. And then, for a while, we just thought it would kind of expand outward. Maybe just leave us alone. And then, you know how nature is. It kind of tends to do whatever it wants. So now it just kind of comes into the field. It's kind of broken off tourism, if I can say that we ever had any. Um, it you know, Now it kind of cuts into some of the farmer's fields, which makes trade difficult. And have you heard anything about snake people? A few of the adventurers that come by and stay in the inn, they, uh, they, they talk about snake people. They talk about a big, uh, snake with tiny arms, and it's like the size of a house or something like that. It says it makes a weird noise. <laughs> Is that normal around here? No. Never. You know, we get some, like, bobcats and stuff coming down from the mountains and stuff. We get weird creatures we get some monsters and stuff like that but nothing that the farmlands can't handle and if anything comes in we get we hire some uh adventurers from out of town or from the town over maybe verbin the guild up there is a big um monster hunter guild or well contracting guilds i guess but they mostly do monsters from what i've seen perhaps we could make this our next uh, uh mission captain you took quite the uh, interest in it immediately Perhaps this is why we are supposed to be here. The, yeah, you know, I could, uh, what, like, look at it historically, or what? Who, who, uh, is, uh, Lucy still here? Yeah, she's still staying there. Uh, you know, who would we, uh, go to see who knows, like, a, a bit about the Bramble Woods and... Well, honestly, you should uh, probably talk to the mayor. Her name is Rationale. Rationale. Yeah. She's a, she's a good mayor. She's been uh, running this town for probably about, I'm going to say, probably about 25 years. Um, she stayed. She was a adventurer who traveled in here at an, in and out for like six years. And then she decided to stay here. Um, we were looking for a new mayor. Her mayor had recently passed. She came in. She's been doing great work. Um, she's really revolutionized how many... How we get things dealt with in here. Now she, uh, her, her, um, her son-in-law runs a, uh, um, a general goods store out, out of the mansion. That's her, the, well, the town hall, her house. It's kind of a little bit of everything. Okay. Okay there. So she sounds like the one to, okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, do you think, uh, uh, sh she'd be there tonight or? Um, well, she kind of, like, looks at the big clock on the wall, and she says she might be, she might be having dinner with her family, but, um, you could probably catch her right now if you, if you want to. Okay. But she's typically um, around in the mornings more than anything. Uh, okay. I think I stand up and I head towards the door. Okay. Uh, oh, Texton, wait. Is any, uh, anyone want to come along, or? No, man, we, we just, should... we, we gotta get a nap, we gotta get rest, man. I would say perhaps we should wait till the morning. You know, I'm not doing too bad HP wise. Um, a giant uh, dinosaur comes out. <laughs> um. I, person I personally am not feeling so great, and I don't think Kariad is feeling 10 out of 10 either. <laughs> if I, can, I, I can still fight. <laughs> I know you. If I could speak liberally, I would like to say I would prefer to, to you know, probably get my bearings about with a nice bath and digesting a meal before we go up and try and uh, defeat a forest. Um, <laughs> uh, and and, and uh, Miss, Miss Lucy, who would we um, go to about getting the recipe for cornbread? Quite literally anywhere. <laughs> um, go and do what you're doing and I'll write it down for you, alright? And you, I'm gonna make cornbread. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna make cornbread. <laughs> I'm gonna make cornbread, I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right. What is uh, who's following Tecton? Or are you guys, are you going anywhere, Tecton? Or are you going to stay put? Is, is, does anyone want to come or no? Oh, is Tecton still going? 
I okay. Uh, I'll I'll stay. He'll stay. He'll stay with the majority. Peer pressured. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ever split the party. All right, Nosta and Kariad is gonna limp to bed. Okay. <laughs> you make your way up to bed. Freya's gonna kind of like help her <laughs> as much as a dwarf can help a human or uh, a half elf. S- slump over yeah. you. Yeah. Now. Yeah. You can wear me as a hat. <laughs> It is a shame we did not all get uh, a single room together. Like, uh, I'm going to imagine Ramsey says this to Fenwell as they start to go upstairs. It seems <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, um. Kariad will call back from up the hall. What, like a sleepover? Precisely. And then Ramsey's going to keep going, and then he just, like, briefly looks back at uh, Fenlo, smiles, and continues up the stairs. Uh, uh, you find in your rooms. A single bed with a little nightstand table, uh, a nice kind of square, classic countryside window. Um, the bed is full of hay, uh, but it is a comfortable stay than the floor. Um, blankets are nice and warm uh, as the sun is beginning to kind of set over the like, over the horizon. It's still you still got like another hour or two before it is completely darkness. Um, can can I can I like? stop Tecton before he gets up the stairs and just go, hey, what does it mean when a, when, a, when a guy looks at you and smiles and then goes into his room and then talks about wanting a room with everybody all at the same time? What does that mean, exactly? Well, you know, I Ramsey's is kind of... Ramsey's is very spiritual and I don't know if that means that it, they were just being nice or if uh, they want to uh, you know, do the <laughs> do the dirty work with you or whatever. What? But uh, what dirty? I, I don't know. What, what? I don't know, kid. Me, any compliment that comes my way is that is this flirting? <laughs> what? Do they want to do the dirty work? Yeah, the dirty. What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? You know, work? Uh, you know, dirty work is a uh, dwarven for uh, sex. Um, if if you know. What, uh, uh, it's canon though. What the yeah, hell is this? Yeah, you know, I, I know what that yes, is. it is. It's like Holland. It's like Holland. And, yeah, uh, no, I, 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 I know. Mining. I know. I know what mining. That, I know what that is. Okay. Night. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, and Fenlo closes the door oh in your face. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Does anybody else want to do anything in the night before the evening comes to a close? Uh, yeah, I want to, um, I want to try to, like, do another one of those, um, stone dice things and then hit it with a hammer. Okay. And a shillelagh. And see if I can, like, recall anything of the time, of, like, the vision that, uh, in the, the sure. hall. Yeah. Make me a d20 roll and add your, I'm trying to think what's a good way to do this. What did I do last time? Uh, I think I think I just did strength. Like do a strength roll. roll then. Can I listen? I'm gonna do shillelagh, so I can do charisma and add plus two. Sure, why not? That's a uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Um, you kind of when you look down at the stones and everything, and you kind of like think back, things rush down past you. Um, the first pile of rubble that you see vaguely is in the area that you are now oh and then oh no and on the horizon <laughs> where the mountains that you saw are okay sundered well shit i, I guess i go to bed yeah. i don't know um wh- just as everyone's getting ready for bed taking off their stuff a few of you guys begin to realize something's a little off with some things around you um, Kariad, when you saw in your vision, mm-hmm. when you tried to pull out your scimitar and tried to slash that man who was putting someone to death, you saw one hole, like one like hole with a marble shape in your scimitar. That's right. And when you look up the blade, there is four now. Uh... That could fit probably a marble in them. What? Uh, on my blade currently that I'm looking yeah. at right in yeah. my hands? In your hand, physically. 
I'm gonna put there, it Wait, there are indents in- Is it like a- like a- <laughs> you, There is- there is still metal, like it doesn't go all the way through, it's not like a space or anything like that. It's like um, an indent. It, it looks like you can just drop a marble in there. I wanted a scimitar-sized punching- <laughs> oh, what are those called? Brass knuckle. Yeah, brass um, knuckle. Tecton, you look yeah. at your club, and the little leather band, there's a little metal piece in the leather. And then it sets four grooves that could probably fit a marble, and like in each. And then, okay. And then, Ramses, when you pull off your battle axe on each, or your is it a great axe or a battle axe? Battle axe. Okay. When you pull off the one blade of battle axe, there is at the edge of the blade there is four marble shaped spots in it. Uh, Freya. When you pull out your little baton, now on the base of the handle, there are four spots that you look like you could put uh, four marbles in. And Fenlo, on your wrist is a leather band with a piece of metal set into it that has four holes that look like they could be, marbles could fit in. Bloody hell, what's going on here? Is this... I, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, knock on the wall between my room and Carriad's. Are you pranking me right now? Did you give me jewelry? What's going on? I'm gonna step out into the hallway and wait to see if Fenlo also does. Yeah, I'm gonna step out into the hallway. <laughs> okay. What what, what what are we gonna fight? <laughs> You're bloody right, yeah. No, uh, did you? Did you? Have you noticed? Yeah. Well, if, no, hey. there's three. No, there's four. You, you also. Um. All right. I blame you for this. Uh, blame you for this. I. <laughs> and I'm just gonna show. I'm just gonna present my scimitar. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna. I'm gonna show my wristband. Same. Same amount of marble slots and everything. It's, <sighs> it's weird that it's exactly four. Yeah. It's weird that we're. It's f for both of us. Yeah. Um. Uh. I'm gonna find Freya's door and. and One second. And um, she'll open the door and she's in kind of like a nightgown. Yeah. Look very pretty. Um, <laughs> have you noticed this? And I'm gonna show the four holes in the scimitar, and then I'm gonna grab Fenlo's wrist and also hold that up. Ow. Yeah, now that you mention it. She's gonna pull out her baton and like hold it upside down, so she's holding it by like the shaft, and she's gonna show the the handle. I'm gonna. Uh, it's never never been like that before. I'm, I'm gonna run to Ramsey's door and knock on it a few times. We may as well get teched in too, and I'm gonna knock on teched, and we'll just all <laughs> get out. The, rather than going one by one. Yeah, and, yeah. Every. <laughs> Ramsey like swings his door open. He's in like night pants and like a like a pullover like robe that he found in the room. Uh, did you, um, hi. Um, did that is your hand. N no, yeah. but but the thing on the. <laughs> thing on the uh, I didn't think of words to do before I came here. Uh, Ramsey just like looks like he's just waiting for you to finish. You um, go it, on. It, it, so I I got this thing and it looks like there's four slots. And they got things. I got four slots in it. And I was wondering if you had things uh, that had four slots in it. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then, like, he... His door stays open, but he, like, oh. rummages, like, through his things. He, like, takes out his javelin. He's like, no, there is not full holes in this. And then he'll, like, take out, um... He's like, he'll look over his armor and he'll be like, no, also does not have four holes. And then he'll finally take out his, like, battle axe and be like, yeah. Yes, it does indeed match. So uh, Tecton's, Tecton's like ha uh, midway through, like barricading his door, <laughs> um, uh, when the knock comes, and like he a answers it in his uh, dirty undershirt and uh, uh, full of like fucking blood and slash marks, and uh, he's like, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah, I got him too. It's on uh, the bone." Uh, what's, uh, what's going on here? Uh, I think someone has put a name tag on our things, but without the cliche of having our names written. 
That's an interesting conclusion to come to. Hi, my <laughs> name is... very interesting. We all match now. If our things ever go missing, then immediately we'll be able to find them. It actually is quite convenient when you think of it. Hi, my name is Four Marble Slots. It's nice to meet all of you. Can I... Okay, I, w- have... I, I want to take out the uh, my bag of gold, of like hundreds and hundreds of gold, and I want to like... <laughs> Uh, slap. Think about it. I don't want to like slash it, and like a bunch of stones fall out from the bottom, but uh, and like there's only a bit of gold at the top. And I'm gonna take some of the stones and I'm gonna like okay. put them into my bone to see if like they fit or whatever. Uh, they slot in, and then when you move them, they just fall out. Okay. Does anybody have something that could fit? And I'm gonna start checking my inventory. <laughs> Do I notice anything new in my inventory? No, nothing's new in your inventory. Same thing for everyone else. Uh, Ramsey takes out four stick candles and like places them inside of his like battle axe. Hey, it, it, they fit. I, I they mean, just out cause, pretty quickly. Just because something fits, don't mean that it belongs there. I know, but we were trying. <laughs> Why did you not say this to Tekton? I was Phrasing. just copying his idea. <laughs> Phrasing. You know, if uh, if stones don't make it work, then uh, that's that's a real shame there. Uh, um, you know, I but I think I've I think I've read some stories about you know putting gems inside of things and enchanting them. Could be that. Uh, almost like an arcane focus. Uh, maybe I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah. I. Can, can I check my arcane focus and do, just... Uh, do, all, do all of y'all have a... Uh, why did I say y'all? Y'all. That's my, that's my lingo. Do you guys have a, <laughs> uh, magic? No. I do. Yeah? I don't have any magic. Nope. None. Whatsoever. Mm. Would you like to learn? Sorry, Jack. We can't hear you if you're yeah, saying you Oh, quiet. no. I don't have any magic. Pardon? I don't, I don't got no magic, no. Uh, no, you do have magic, friend. I remember seeing it. Oh, no, that that's because of the, the, the genetic magic, because I'm an ASMR. It is still magic, though. You have magic, then. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah all right, yeah. You got the magic in you. <laughs> Something tells me that your heart will turn into gold. Nice. Um. <laughs> okay. Um... Do, do I remember, like, anything relating somehow to the vision and, like, the uh, four notches appearing in everybody's stuff? Um, I mean, Freya and Caria, do you remember seeing your item appear in front of you in that vision? And um, mm-hmm. now that you guys think about it, you guys each saw something like this appear somewhere in the flicker of all the changes. I I think I remember seeing at least one hole. Definitely don't remember seeing four. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ramsey scratches his chin and puts his brow, uh, furrows his brow. Eh, I would like to say it is one for each of us, but it is one short, so I am out of ideas. Unless they all haven't formed yet. It is possible. Either way. I'm I'm going to go to bed. Maybe we... Maybe if this is supposed to be like a grand journey, maybe we find them as we travel? Also very possible. Maybe once we're done here and, uh, you know, we continue on to wherever we're going, maybe we'll find it. So long as it does not affect the use of the, the weapon itself, I think that we are okay in just having it. Uh, Freya will use her... Uh, conductor's baton to cast. Do you still have spells? Uh, cantrips. Okay. Uh, message. She'll like whisper, like, did this message still reach you to carry out? It comes through. I'll just look over at you and. Yeah, nod. Alright. It doesn't affect, uh, it doesn't affect my wand, so. I'm gonna. Okay, then. They're still using I'm gonna. It. I'm gonna try to cast light with my hand just to make sure I can still do it and whatnot. Lights up, yeah. 
Yeah, no. The only way for... I would like to cast Expeditious Retreat. You <laughs> zoom right out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Expeditious Retreat and go the fuck to bed. <laughs> and with that, Pretty much. I'm gonna go back to bed. Maybe next oh. time we do get a room all together. Clearly we are not done talking even when we are not <laughs> sitting at the dinner table. But <laughs> that is just my thought. I'm alright with a slumber party. Yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing, Maybe next nothing time. wrong with sharing room. Only if people are comfortable. I start barricading my door again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys off. Without closing it, you're just, you're just piling shit up. Bricks. <laughs> Alright, you guys all find your way to your beds for the evening. Can I do one more thing? Sure, yeah. Um, Once Freya's gotten into bed, and maybe like half an hour after everyone's gone like back to their rooms and she's like are they gonna fucking come in one more time (laughs) okay it's been it's been a bit I think I'm okay um she's going to use conjure minor conjuration and since she can't make like very big things anymore she's gonna make a, a little like wooden doll with like articulated limbs of a dwarven boy who looks kind of like her reddish hair almondish skin not like a very detailed face like just kind of two little like black pupils for eyes and she's just gonna kind of like look at it Kind of like hold it to her chest. And she's. When the hour that it's there, she's gonna sleep with it. Okay. And she's gonna go to bed. Anybody else? I thought you were making a voodoo doll for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were Anybody just else? making making a miniatures collection. I was like, dang, I wish I had that power. <laughs> a, nen- a nendroid of yeah. Freya. <laughs> All right. As you guys all find your way into bed, the de- the the bed is maybe something different than you're not than you're used to, or maybe it's exactly what you're used to, but it's comfortable for what you got and what you paid for. The blankets are warm as the crickets begin to chirp into the night as the sunset has finished. The cool night air kind of drifts in, so you kind of all curl up in bed and. Try to warm up the best you can. Thinking about the day's events of waking up after a New Year's celebration, going through the first beginning of trial, feeling that triumph, you know, not knowing what's next. Okay, I'm about to rule. And then being kicked off a cliff and falling thousands upon thousands of feet onto the surface world below, planting yourself in a forest with weird snake lizard creatures that are trying to chase you down the small town that seems to be nice just for the sake of being nice you guys all find your way to bed you guys may take a long rest and that is where we'll leave it for the evening 